Plugin of the week is uh, by Universal Audio. It's the AMS RMX 16 Expanded. Uh, this is a re-release of the uh, famous RMX uh, 16 uh, by AMS. This uh, originally came out in the 1980s, so it's a classic uh, digital reverb, really ahead of its time in terms of uh, being microprocessor controlled and uh, full bandwidth. One of the things that it was really amazing about it in terms of uh, the control was really the early reflections, which a lot of digital reverbs didn't have, and certainly none of the mechanical reverbs had. Um, what you get with it um, in the original are nine programs. Now, there were some different ones in the very, very earliest of the models that were released, but primarily most people got nine programs. What's interesting is that I was starting to think I was crazy because I worked in a studio that I could have swore had 12 programs, because I specifically remember one of them, which was a reverse two uh, uh, program and a non-LIN one program. Um, and it may have been a total of 18 programs, um, which it turns out uh, that was uh, possible. But the basic unit itself um, would typically come with nine. So this is giving you the expanded collection. Now, what's interesting about it, and I think it's kind of worth just a, a quick look over, is that uh, um, one, um, what we have here is the original programs that it came with, the added ones. So I'll kind of go through them and talk about uh, what's different or unique about them. Uh, there's some really cool ones, especially the image uh, one and the other uh, reverse program, which is quite cool. So that's good. What was really cool is the way that this got actually embedded in um, was uh, through a scanner and uh, these little um, uh, kind of UPC style codes. And so you could actually load a program in, but you had to have this sort of magic wand that you could go through and scan all the individual programs in, and it would actually store in. So this didn't come stock. This was an aftermarket kind of product uh, that was placed into it. So I thought that was kind of unique because it's such, a, a, such an unusual uh, device, and, and it just kind of shows a bit of old technology. You know, it's everything short of a punch card. Uh, so... When we get to the program, it's a, it's a really, it's an odd one. Essentially what you have is the program here, right, with a program button, and there's a series of ways that you can change things. So primarily the easiest way to go about uh, changing the program is by, you know, just selecting it from the list here. So you could do it that way. It will kind of load up exactly what you have. Uh, you can also use the nudge keys, and this will kind of nudge you through the program. So as long as the program LED is lit, then the nudge keys will allow you to kind of toggle your way through. If you know what specific program you want, you can also type in the number of the program, and the pound key becomes the enter key for you. Uh, you can actually type on it here, type in the program number, and it will load it in that way. So just by clicking on it there. And with some of the controls, not with this one, you could use the pot control. So there were a variety of ways of entering it. Now, there's some things to this because with certain programs, for example, if you do the nudge keys here on the pre-delay, you'll get 10 seconds. Whereas if you use the pot, it'll give you um, in milli single millisecond in uh, increments. And then again, you could just type in if you know you want a specific number. Uh, just type in 8 and then it will become that. So you have some ways to kind of get in and out with it. Essentially, every program has some different some uh, different things. So not all of them. This is actually a good one because it has all the parameters available. You have the program, you have pre-delay, decay time. Some of these will act differently based on the program that you load. And then you have a decay filter for low frequency uh, reverb and high frequency reverb. So this is a roll up. So some of the programs you select won't have any. Some will just have the high filter, et cetera. The, the wet dry mix and wet solo, that's an addition. That's not actually part of the original unit. Everything else looks identical to the original, uh, including the keypad. Um, the ABCD we use for different purposes, although with some of the programs like the delay, you can use the A and B to control the delay times of this separately for the A and B out. So I kind of want to go through some things with this because there there are some kind of uh, unique features and they try to stay true to the original. So people who've used it have got used to the thing that, you know, if you use the star key, it could be uh, a, like a decimal point. It could be a plus or, or like a minus uh, if you're entering in information. Sometimes it's just easier to click on something, nudge up or nudge down or turn the pot and, and you're good to go. So uh, let's go through uh, some of the original programs. Um, some of them are are just um, pretty straightforward. Like what I have here is uh, uh, just a lead been vocal. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world where you going. 
Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going, man. I've been around the corner. Not and and it has like a um you know just like a a really cool realistic sounding space. This one is used a lot. This is one of my been favorites. Been around the corner, man. I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going, man. I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you're headed? Hey, tell me where you're going. We're going to take it around the world now. I particularly like this for drums, although it can work for things like that. The room gives you like a realistic room. Been kind of around vibe. the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going, man. I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you're headed? Hey, tell me where you're going. We're going to take it around the world brighter. now. Hey, we're going to take it around the whole entire world. Hey, or warmer. we're going to take it around the world. Uh, look, I think we can take it around the whole entire world. Uh, All right. So you got some uh, some cool things there. The hall program, which is a little bit more specifically designed for vocals. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going. Man, I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you headed? Hey, tell me where you're going. We're going to take it around the world now. This hey. also has a, a, the, a low filter, which can go plus minus, so you could warm it up. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going. Man, I've been around the corner. Right. And so, uh, you know, not all of these are going to be perfect examples uh, for this. In other words, not all of them are going to work. But you see there's like a like there's a really unique tonal character about all the reverbs in this. And that's that's kind of the key thing that makes it unique from just sort of like any other digital reverb. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going. Man, I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you headed? Hey, tell me where you're going. We're going to take it around the world now. Hey, we're going to take it around the whole entire world. Hey, we're going to take it around the world. Uh, look, I think we can take it around the whole entire world. Uh, I was riding. So, like, just like the way that that kind of vibrates, it's just like everyone is has just like a unique character. Been to around it. the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going, man. I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you're headed? So, and and so you get a, a little bit of this differently with everyone. Uh, the chorus program is also uh, been kind around of, the corner. Man, cool. I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going, man. I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying so to... So, in, in this case, what you get is um, the pre-delay on the chorus program now becomes like a delay time. And then this becomes uh, more or less like a depth control. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? So you get more hey, depth tell with me the where you're decay. Headed, where you going, man? I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you headed? Hey, tell me where you're going. We're going to take it around the world now. Hey. We're going to take it around the whole entire world. Hey. Yeah. So there's, so there's like a cool one. The Echo one, this is kind of an interesting one because the Echo actually has um, two different um, things here. So like, in other words, there's an Echo A and an Echo B. And so you could set two different times here. So you use the A and B switches. And so you can see it there. Anytime that shows up, you'll see an A and a B. And then you'll know that you, that you can hit that. So you can actually get some. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going, man. I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you headed? Hey. And then you can uh, swing in some feedback. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going, man. I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you headed? Hey, tell me where you're going. We're going to take it around the world now. Hey, we're going to take it around the whole entire world. Hey. So, and, and you can kind of play with that and, and get into all the returns. I didn't like time everything out in terms of delays. Very cool. Nonlin 2 is one of my favorites. I use this a lot for drums, really. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where really you going? tight hey, space. Tell me where you're headed, where you're going, man. I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you headed? 
Hey, tell me where you're going. We're going to take it around the world now. Hey, we're going to take it around the whole entire world. And then another one that's really cool if you just want a pretty heavy effect. And this is the last one of the original. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going. Man, I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you headed? Hey, tell me where you're going. We're going to take it around the world now. Hey. We're going to take it around the whole entire world. Hey. We're going to take it around the world. Uh. So look. you want to really pay attention to what happens in the left, right, because all of them are a little bit different. Like if we take the reverse two, uh, it won't maintain the same uh, settings. But here been we around can... the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going. Man, I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you're headed? Hey, tell me where you're going. We're going to take it around the world now. Hey, we're going to take it around the whole entire world. Hey. And that can create like a really cool space, just like having that really short kind of reverse reverb. It's interesting because some people use this with a lot of longer uh, times. You could see that I have a tendency to kind of use it a little bit more uh, with a shorter time. This is a really uh, strange one, the freeze program. You can actually get to this with the ambience by turning the uh, uh, decay time all the way up and then just having no filter on it. Uh, but this, essentially what it does is um, there is an off setting with a decay time, a hold setting, which you'll see in a second, and then uh, a capture time. Okay, so what happens is if you have some audio in here... Been we... around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going. Man, I've been around the corner. And so what you can do is you can you can capture any kind of moment in time and then uh, when you make this at zero, so at one it goes into a hold mode, anything above one, if just go to two, it'll capture whatever audio comes in at that particular point, switch it back to one and it'll stay frozen. So you can actually automate that in and program then as like a Been around a an, an end reverb, which is kind of cool. So there's some cool stuff here. Some of the other uh, programs that they added in, which are kind of cool. Been around a corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going. Man, I've been around the corner. This room uh, was the uh, original uh, room that was uh, in uh, the uh, uh, a very, very original unit. And then it kind of got pulled out. So that one is also very cool, nice and tight. This is room B1. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going. So, so you get more density in that room. But again, very realistic, like in terms of like the spatial front back uh, depth field is really powerful. It's a hall program. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. And and just that that very, very kind of cool effect, almost like echoplexy kind of effect and is is really amazing then there's also been uh, around the corner man i've been around the corner trying to make it around plate. the world where you going hey tell me where you're headed where you're going man i've been around the corner nah man i've been around the corner trying to make it around the world where you're headed hey tell me where you're going we're gonna take it around the world now hey we're gonna take it around the whole entire world hey Right. It's not as shimmery as the other plate. The other plate had a lot more uh, kind of uh, undulations in the sound. Uh, the delay program uh, gives you kind of unique thing. This delay program is a little bit odd because on the left side, it'll give you the direct signal. And on the right side, it'll give you the delay. So if you kind of set up this style program, you're going to want to mix the outputs to control it that way. Or if you open it up as a um, uh, on an audio track uh, like on the, like the actual track itself, you could pan both uh, to the middle, you know, uh, but it doesn't give you independent control of the balance of those two things. And that again, that's true to the original. This is a really really cool one. This image. Been around the corner, man. I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you going? Hey, tell me where you're headed. Where you going, man? I've been around the corner. Nah, man. I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world. Where you headed? Hey, tell me where you're going. We gonna take it around the world now. Right, so that image like creates this like really cool um, like spatial depth. It has a lot of the characteristics of the non-lin programs, which is quite cool. And then uh, there's one final one, which is the non-lin one, 
And uh, so this is uh, similar to the um, the other non-lint except it kind of separates. You get, again, kind of this thing where you get sort of discrete reflections on one side and more diffusion on the other been side. Been around the corner. Man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world where you going. Hey, tell me where you're headed, where you're going, man. I've been around the corner. Nah, man, I've been around the corner trying to make it around the world where you're headed. Hey, tell me and you can create some really kind of cool effects like that, you know, where the two things are like different and as, and as opposed to just being sort of, okay, the same kind of reverb, just a little bit with some width on it, left and right, and, you know, different delay timings and stuff like that. This is actually giving you almost two separate things on either side, which is uh, very unique. So there's loads and loads and loads and loads of uses in this. You just see this like all over the place uh, um, in terms of... Uh, um, records i mean this is this is something that has been used over and over again on countless albums um and it's a favorite of many artists uh to this day and engineers to this day have the original units they've uh, lasted very well over time and uh this has always been one of my favorites i always loved this reverb in studio and the fact that it was in digital form was great and then the fact that they came out with the expanded uh library uh, just makes me at least a little bit not feel crazy because I seem to remember something and nobody else seems to remember it, but it was a rare thing. Not a lot of people knew about these extra programs. Uh, it was just like an after aftermarket thing that I guess wasn't marketed very well. Um, but amazing uh, um, uh, reverb, really unique character, really unique sounds, and uh, definitely one that uh, if you don't already have uh, the original, then definitely get the expanded one. It's absolutely worth it. Okay, there you have it. Uh, Mixing with Mike, plugin of the week, the Universal Audio AMS RMX 16 Expanded. <laughs>